So speaking of these contractors, Van, um, what is it that a real estate investor should do to make sure that the contractors that they're working with are qualified? And what are the qualities that you want to look for in a contractor? Well, uh, obviously, uh, when a contract, when you come across a contractor or a tradesperson, um, hopefully you've got them from references that you've received from, from people that you trust. But even in those situations, you still need to go out there and you need to do your due diligence. You need to go visit uh, their job sites of a current job site that they're working on. Get Find out what their condition is. And also, hopefully, you can get a hold of that principal uh, of the person who you know, that they were doing work for to find out how this tradesperson contractor, you know, how are they? Are they, are they, are they showing up on time? Are they happy with the service that they're being provided? And that's where you really need to start to figure out whether this is an individual that you want to do business with or, or you don't. Um, ultimately you, you gotta, it, it is a process where once you've been able to find those uh, contractors and trade that you want to do business with, then ultimately uh, the process of trying to manage them is is easy because if you have a scope of work in place and you know the details associated with everybody's supposed to do, then you can then create a flow chart and create you know when it is that they're supposed to arrive and not arrive, and it, it flows beautifully. I don't know if I've answered your question. Sure. So, do you recommend that real estate investors manage their own renovation? And if so, how do they go about doing that if they've got a general contractor hired? Well, I, I'm going to I'm going to suggest that people don't hire a general contractor. And in fact, I suggest that they plan and manage their own renovation uh, without a general contractor, and they could save anywhere between thirty to fifty percent on the whole total renovation rehab budget. Like I, I don't. If you uh, go follow the step by step process that I've just sort of touched on right now with you, you don't need a general contractor. You can handle this all on your own. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, figure knowing how to plan and manage it. And there's thousands of dollars that tens of thousands of dollars that you can save. And I think it's, you know, you starting off as a new real estate investor, I think you need to go down that road and do it yourself because not physically do the work, Jay. I'm not uh, suggesting that at all, but hiring the right, you know, the plumber, the electrician, the painter directly, it, you eliminate the general contract tracking as a middleman and you're dealing directly with these folks and you're all to, and, and, and uh, you get the most, you get the best bang for your buck. And listen, at the end of the day, day Jay, you gotta, you gotta have that skill set. Just as as important it is to find a great deal, uh, it's also really great to be able to have, plan and manage your own renovation and minimize the rental budget as least amount as possible because that's more money in your pocket. And if you don't have that skill set, it, it's a problem because guess what? Tomorrow you're gonna get a phone call and it says, "Hey, I got there's a great deal on this property. You walk, or you or you get over there." And it's, a, uh, you know, these properties we're looking at are ugly ducklings. And, and if you don't have a semblance or an understanding what it is, what kind of work you need to do in that property, how are you going to be in a position to be able to snap that deal up? You're, you're going to call up your contractor friend. You're going to call up your, your the property inspector to come over there. By the time they show up, that, that property is long gone. So you need to have that skill set. If you're going to be a successful real estate investor, be able to walk in, determine what exactly what it is you need to do, what the value is, what the uh, how long it's going to take, and bang that, and then make a decision whether you want to buy that property or not. Mm -hmm.